Hey golfers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss cupped and bowed wrists. Is it right for you? Should you be doing one or the other? And maybe you're trying one and it might not suit your game. So today we're going to discuss which one you should be trying, if any at all. And also we look at golfers like Matt Fitzpatrick with a cupped wrist and we look at Mark Howard, John Ram with a bowed wrist. So what is right? Well, let's find out in today's video. And if you could, please don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get going. So before we discuss whether you should be trying to bow your wrist at the top of the backswing, or cup the wrist, or maybe keep it flat, let's discuss what those two terms mean. If we cup the wrist, this is our lead wrist, at the top of the backswing, it will have this angle. This is referred to as cupping, or extension of the lead wrist. If we flex the lead wrist, we get a bowed look. So remember, at the top of the backswing, this is the where you'll see John Ram, Marikawa, and this is where you'll see the likes of Matt Fitzpatrick. But why can they hit such great shots when there's such a big range of motion between the wrist positions at the top of the backswing? Well, this is because it's all very grip dependent, okay? So let's take a deeper look. Bowing or flexing the lead wrist, cupping or extending the lead wrist is changing the face angle. So if I have the club to where the toe is pointing straight to the ground, this is a very open position. If I have the club where the leading edge is pointing straight to the sky, this is a very closed position. So in between those two, at around a 45 degree angle, we're going to have a square club face. And that is really, really important because that's going to let us know whether we need to cup or bow the lead wrist in your golf swing. So let's take, for example, your Mark Howe, your John Ram. You've got a weaker grip. If I make a swing with a weaker grip and go to the top, you'll see that I get into that toe down open position. So I would need to have more bowing of the wrist to get the club face into that square position. Now let's take a Matt Fitzpatrick a stronger grip so lead hand more around to the right and i make my normal backswing i'm going to arrive at a very close position so leading edge straight to the sky so to get to my square position i would need to cup my wrist so just be very careful when you see a lot of videos talking about bowing the wrist it may not be for you if you're somebody at the top of the backswing whose club face, as we already know, if it's a little bit closed, the last thing you want to do is continue to bow it because now you're in big trouble. If you are somebody who has a weak grip, well then maybe having a little bit of bow at the top is going to help get that club face into that square position. Okay, But if you're a very strong lead hand player, then you do not want to be standing with a bowed wrist. You might need to cup it to get that club face square at the top of the backswing. So my suggestion to you would be video your swing, find out if you are square at the top, and if your club face is not on that 45 degree angle and it's toe down, then maybe give it a little bit of bow with your lead wrist. If you're somebody who holds it normally and swings to the top of your backswing and you see the club face is very looking towards the sky, then you might wanna go ahead and add a little bit of cupping to your lead wrist at the top of the backswing to get that club face square. Okay, so be careful with it. It's fine to bow or cup the lead wrist at the top of the backswing, but the question remains, which one is for you? And it will really help you, provided you get it the right way around. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.